Hey guys, here's a video on the new Alexmos firmware that's just been released about a week or two ago. You can see here, I already have it powered on. Actually, let me power it off. I mean, you know, show you guys from the ground up how easy it is to operate one of these gimbals. Camera's mounted, gimbal's on the stand. I plug it in, I have, I have the board program for instant on, so as soon as I plug it in, it's ready to use without having to wait for it to calibrate. Good for you know using on a boat or in a car because you know you, in one of those uh, environments you can't have the gimbal level on the ground so it's good to have it for instant on and now it's ready to use. So new update, we put into uh, non-follow mode. You can see here <clears throat> before when you took the handlebars past 35 degrees, the whole gimbal start to shake, vibrate very violently. And if you guys were using, you know, for guys who is using for aerials on a, uh, a multi rotor or even an RC helicopter, when you fly really aggressive, the whole thing starts to shake because you can't go past a certain angle. So now you can't go as fast as forward movement. Now you can see here, I can just tilt it any angle I want and the camera doesn't vibrate. So it's a very, very nice feature to have. And also new power level, you know, when I move it, it actually provides more power to bring it back a lot quicker with less vibrations and less movement you can see there. So very, very nice features with the new firmware update. Profile 2, I have it set up for follow on the pan and no follow on the tilt. Great for following people if you're doing a lot of walking shots, you don't want the camera to, you know, tilt down or tilt up. You can just stay locked in that, you know, an object, maybe for example, legs, the buttocks, you know, the body shots, um, you know, upper body, face shots, whatever you guys are trying to follow. The camera is going to stay nice and level right there, but you still have control of the panning so you can actually walk around in a circle following a subject. So it's very, very nice. Now, if you want full control, you can go into the third profile, like so. Look at that, and look at this. So the thing about the profiles is, you know, there is different profiles that you have to program yourself. So it's not going to be any little button that you click for, you know, stuff that I use on here. So you can set follow mode for all three profiles, but you can make it slow or you can make it faster. So if you're doing a lot of, you know, following people, you want a lot of like shoulder rig setups where you go back and forth between two different people, you can actually set the speed a lot quicker. So when you move it, you can quickly go between person A, person B, you know, very, very quick. I have mine set about medium right now just because, you know, when you're shooting videos 1080, you know, in 1080p and you have it for about 30 frames or just even 24 or cinematic shots, um, the thing is if you pan too fast, the whole image starts to get blurry or choppy. By having it slow, it just provides a more cinematic look and it just it suits uh, different, you know, shooting styles a lot better. So that was a quick video showing the you know the new firmware update. Oh, also awesome. I forgot to show you guys. So uh, you can actually adjust the angle in follow mode. So for example, right now I think I bumped it earlier in follow mode. So let me put it back to where it was. So that's the thing is when the gimbal is powered on, you do not want to bump the gimbal for any reason. Just because when you bump the gimbal, the controller does not really know what angle the camera is at because when you're in follow mode it just does a lot of weird things but now you can see I can set the max up is only 90 degrees if I want it to limit it to, to 60 degrees I can easily go into the GUI which is the software on the computer and make it where no matter where I tilt it the camera is going to stay locked in at 60 degrees and it won't go more than that but I have mine set for 90 you can see here I can go down and pretty much I have it set for all the way down and it won't go past that so I can't see my legs if I tilt it too far back, you know, you can see. Very nice, a lot of cool stuff with the new firmware update. It's a little bit different to program now to actually fine tune the board. If you guys got used to setting up the older one, bad news, the new update, a lot of settings, the PID settings, the power settings, the follow uh, modes and stuff like that, a lot of things have been improved and changed. So you will have to learn how to program and retune the controller. So that's the bad thing. But I've mastered it already, so it's, I spent a lot of time, a lot of sleepless nights. I stay up to like 3, 4, sometimes 5 o'clock in the morning working at this gimbal with the new firmware update just to make sure I know how to use it and stuff like that. And then, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. That was just a quick video showing the new update with the firmware from Alexmos. Uh, it's very nice. So Alexmos, you know, did a very, very uh, good job at, you know, the controller with the new update. 
and with the new 32-bit boards coming out very soon, I'm very excited to try that out because now you have a sensor on the handlebar itself. So you have dual sensor support and you can do a lot more stuff and 32-bit processes the information a lot quicker. Except the price of the board is a little bit higher, but it's like about another 100 bucks more than the older boards. But with the dual sensor setup and you know the faster processor, you can expect to get better performance out of uh, these new uh, brushes gimbals. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys, and once again, you know, if you like this video, be sure to click like. If you haven't subscribed, be sure to subscribe to stay updated for you know the future videos coming up very soon. And that's pretty much all for now. As always, guys, thanks for watching and have a great